I got a comment and in that comment someone was asking me a question. The person was saying when uh, she speaks in tongues, she finds herself doing a lot of prophetic activities and a lot of actions. And most of the tongues that she speaks are tongues of warfare. And so she wanted me to give an explanation of exactly what those some of the signs that she actually experiences are. And um, I found it very interesting because some of the signs she was actually mentioning, they are things I have also witnessed people doing uh, where I actually fellowship. Now, I'll mention the very specific signs and just a little bit of uh, what they are. So the first thing she was talking about pointing fingers. So sometimes when she is praying in tongues and waging war, she finds herself like pointing fingers. And um, this is something I've also witnessed someone else doing while the person was actually praying in tongues. Now, what I learned is that um, when you are waging war, spiritual warfare, there are different positions that we, we hold during spiritual warfare. So sometimes in spiritual warfare, you can be the commander. So basically when you are a commander in, the, in a spiritual war, what happens is that you are the one who gives orders of what needs to happen. Now these orders that you are giving, you are basically giving these orders to the angels that God has provided for you. Because if God has called you into spiritual warfare and waging war, what will happen is that he will usually give you a backing of angels. And you see, the number of angels that God gives you for that war depends on uh, your level of, like, your spiritual rank. More like uh, the man of God, Elisha. You remember he had, like, angels, a whole army that were, like, there were so many, they were, they had covered the, was it the, like, entire mountain when uh, his servant Gehazi was very scared. So you see, like, God usually supplies angels depending on the, the level that you are in and, the, and, like, the battle that you are actually going to fight. So what happens is that when you are giving those instructions to those angels, sometimes you need to point uh, out what needs to be done. And because it is your spirit that is actually being involved, you see like those actions get translated to your physical body because your physical body at that time is just idle. So there is basically nothing going on. And other times the intensity of those, um, of those, of, um, those instructions is so strong that your entire body moves along with it. So there is that where you are giving instructions to angels. Then the other... Um, like the other position that we hold during spiritual warfare is when we are actually soldiers in the war ourselves. So in this case, I am um, usually there will be a commander and a commander might actually be an angel. So an angel can actually be the one leading what? The war. And so what happens is that he will usually wait for you to uh, like um, respond to his guidance. So what will happen is that he will handle, because he is the one leading, he knows the strategy he will be using, he knows how he wants to go about uh, doing the fighting. But because you are there and you have offered yourself to fight as a soldier, then you will usually be receiving instructions of things to do. So the Holy Spirit, because he understands how, like what is going on, what will happen is that, that um, like um, the instructions that you need to do will be given to your like um, the Holy Spirit will relay them to your to your spirit and then you'll have to do them physically. So this is where you may find yourself like stamping your feet or sometimes you may find yourself kind of like punching the like punching the air and those kind of groans of war and like those kind of things. So many of those things are just things that are going on during that spiritual warfare. And you see, it just depends with the position that you are operating at that day. 
and the kind of battle that you're fighting so that the things that are happening to you they are usually very unique to the situation that is actually going on so this is just something that um is um what i'll just call the occurrences of the war or occurrences just during that spiritual war